Hey guys, it's Joe and welcome back to my channel. So, I have been feeling obviously a lot of feelings in the last few days. It is the last Friday with my real leg. Um, that's weird to say. It's six days out from surgery. I got to talk to my surgeon last night and learn a little bit more about what my process is going to look like. It looks like I'll only be in the hospital for like a day, which sounds terrifying. Um, but as many of you know, I made this decision. It's an elective amputation, which does not mean that I'm like, hey, this sounds like a great idea. I think I'll chop my leg off. It means that I cannot live in pain like this anymore. I've been in pain every day for um, a really long time, for years, and it's gotten worse and worse, and I'm on narcotics all the time, and I cannot do anything but barely walk, and walking hurts a lot, and not walking hurts, and I just can't do this anymore, and I'm unwilling to go down the dark tunnel of more uncertain surgeries that are not gonna give me a life. Um, I wanna take the chance of having my below the knee amputation with the hope that it will give me better quality of life. With that being said, a lot of people were against that decision, understandably, people who love me, um, who want the best for me, and who can't imagine making this kind of decision for themselves, which I understand. And so I made this decision and I felt confident in it. And I called the doctor's office a few days ago and said, I am for sure doing this, let's, let's do it. So they scheduled it. And then after that, I started freaking out, um, just feeling so much anxiety and so much terror and so much like, what, dear God, what am I going to do? This is so much more change than I can possibly anticipate. I cannot predict all the things that are gonna be different. And is this panic, is this fear, does this mean I've made the wrong decision? Like, should I go back to uh, ankle replacement or should I just do nothing because of all of this fear that I have? And um, no, I'm, I'm realizing, and I realized every day that the answer is no. A decision can be right and can also be fucking terrifying because this one definitely is. I am uh, very frightened. This book came in the mail today Lower limb amputation. Um, it's got a lot of great information in it, by the way. It is by Adrian Christian. I hope I'm saying that name right. I'm not sure if you can see who's it by there. But um, it's a guide to living a quality of life. It's got a lot of good information. I would definitely recommend it if you are getting a lower limb amputation. I'm working my way through it right now. But there are so many things to consider. And I'm watching a lot of other YouTube channels like um, Amputee OT great information there and I'm trying to absorb as much as I can but I'm finding like I can't sleep I can't rest because my head is going nuts and I just want to get it done but then I find myself like touching my leg that's still there and realizing it's going to be gone in less than a week and there's so much anxiety that comes with that and I find myself wondering am I going to look back on this video in a year and be like Oh my God, Jordan, what were you thinking? Like, what have you done? Why did you do this? But I don't think that's gonna be the case, regardless. Because I feel, I like in my gut, and I know that this is the right decision. I know it may not have the outcome that I want. I know I may not be able to run. Not everyone who has their leg amputated gets to do that. I know that I may have phantom pain. I know that pretty much everyone has phantom sensation. I know that um, taking showers is gonna be a pain. I know that going to the bathroom is gonna be difficult. I know that learning to walk and, and all of that is going to be a challenge. But with all of that said, even though I have so much fear, I am confident in this decision still. So if you are in the process of making this choice and you feel like it's the right choice, but you're terrified, I would encourage you that if you do know that it's the right choice and your doctors agree, don't let that fear paralyze you. Think through it, work through it, Feel it, deal with it, but don't stop there. Like, don't let it stop what you know to be right, whatever that is. That's what I'm trying to work on. That's what I'm trying to, like, sit with and, and absorb. And it's hard. I'm uh, going to make it through the weekend, get more things in the house ready. I have a nice little fridge installed there. That's where I'm going to be, like, recovering, where my dog is currently sleeping like a bum because she sleeps all day, which is what I'm going to be doing, you know, for, like, at least a solid week soon. But uh, I'm going to continue getting everything ready, trying to relax, trying to keep my mind calm, and trying to deal with these fears. Let me know how you guys are doing and if this is something you've dealt with or are dealing with. I would love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your questions. I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye, guys.